This is Off Planet Radio. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Off Planet Radio, Off Planet TV. I'm Randy Moggins, and this is um, what we do. Uh, we try to do it monthly. Sometimes it doesn't work, but it's time for us to catch up with what's going on in the world of C60, specifically, yeah, specifically C60 Evo, ESS60, um, who come to us from the C60 Evo people. And um, today we got um, a special guest who is going to give us a testimonial, which will be very cool because that's really what this is all about. The experience of C60 is very much an individual experience. Um, but what I've, what I've noticed over the last few months with my own experience has been largely, I'm not fighting as many of the symptoms of, um, let's just say, colds, flu, things like that, that, that seem to grab a hold of everybody right now. Plus, the, the benefits in sleep, I, I can't even begin to say. Um, I'm a lifelong uh, insomniac. And I tend to not rise very well in the morning. I'm noticing a lot, much, much more sprinting out of bed in the morning and getting at it. Let's just put it that way. So with me today is Chris Burroughs from C60, Evo C60. Say hello, Chris. Hello. Thanks for having me, Randy. You are welcome. And Patty Greer is back with us. Hey, nice to be here again. Patty and her lovely, lovely home there. And we have a very special guest today who's going to come on and give us um, the testimony. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit about product benefits. And, and again, this isn't an infomercial so much as sharing experiences. Obviously, we want you to try C60. We want you to get the lovely bottle with the lovely label there. And that's the um, olive oil which is what we recommend, by the way, because that's the highest saturation of the C60 in the entire line. But if you want other oils, obviously have those as well. So the C60 Evo olive oil is the beverage of choice here in the studio. Every morning, tablespoon, promptly. And um, let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the health scene, because obviously we're still dealing with the fallout of COVID-19, coronavirus, and um, the panic has died down a little bit. Now it seems to be more the battles over masking, less so social distancing. The mask is the big issue. But really the big issue is what do we do to keep ourselves in a place where we're not threatened by this, these kind of viruses. Because um, anybody that's followed the show knows that we've done research. We know that, that COVID-19 is sars corona 2 which goes back to 2003, and SARS has been with us. We're really 30 years into the current generations of viruses which have become, become increasingly more um, virulent and um, able to infect, and I don't know the term for that. What is the term for that when, when, when it's highly infectious? Um, Ages. Yeah. So, so we're in the period where now we're at the point where we have what, what is being called a pandemic, and we need to work with our individual bodies. Obviously, the world has always been a very dangerous place. Human beings are subject to rapidly evolving biome and infectious diseases evolve over time. So keeping the body strong, building resistance. And one of the things I was talking to Chris about before we went on is getting a control of oxidative stress in the body, which is obviously an ongoing issue. It's part of what occurs to us in everyday life and then it's amplified even more in an environment where we're dealing with the kind of stresses we have now so 
Chris, do you want to talk a little bit about that and some of your current findings as well related to viruses in general and even COVID? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we're all familiar with vitamin C, right? And vitamin C has actually been one of the things that has been talked about a lot related to COVID. Uh, it turns out, and I've got, I've got my bottle here too, it's sitting right here with me. Uh, it turns out that C60 Evo is a very potent antioxidant, actually 172 times more powerful than vitamin C. So if you're talking about uh, taking care of oxidative stress, uh, you can talk about C60 Evo uh, and you're in some of the best company that you can be in. Uh, I was recently, uh, I, I took a trip with my family to Tennessee and on the way we were listening to actually have uh, 10 year old twins and we were listening to a, a, a YouTube channel, Med Cram uh, is really good. He references John Hopkins information and he was talking about how, um, effective COVID-19 is at producing these reactive oxygen species, at for producing these oxidation situations. Uh, and so that's part of the reason that there's theories that vitamin C is adding, is very beneficial when you're fighting, fighting COVID uh, and, and really are what would support that C60 EVO would be something you would want to include uh, if you're trying to fight off this disease or if you're just trying to pre potentially pre prevent it. Now, I want to be very careful here. I'm not saying like this is the way that you stop COVID. I'm not saying this is the thing once you have COVID that you need to take to get rid of it. Uh, I'm just saying that there's some scientific evidence that supports this is probably something you should take when you're on it um, to include in your diet. Uh, I certainly uh, like to share that I've sent multiple bottles to my mom. I have her taking double serving sizes and, uh, and I believe that it's very valuable. There's actually five ways that our product supports your immune system, right? So the first is, of course, we've got this antioxidant capability, 172 times more powerful than vitamin C. Um, we have to be very careful with uh, when, when we talk about uh, inflammation and anti-inflammatories. Uh, so it's best to say that our product fits amazingly well in an anti-inflammatory diet. Like, we'll just leave it at that. You guys can read between the lines. Um, it is a known antiviral and a known antibacterial. And really, sleep is one of our most consistent testimonials. And Randy, um, I've got a lot to say about sleep here in just a second. But I, like you said, it's had a dramatic impact on for your sleep. Can you talk a little bit about what, like, what that impact is and what that feels like and looks like? Yeah, I spent about... Um, three decades working um, largely in the early days of computer technology, being up late, doing coding projects, um, getting up to date well, with what was then the emerging computer world. And I, I fell into a, a syndrome of sleeping usually four and a half, five hours a night. And basically, as you know, we entrain ourselves in cycles we adapt, and what happened was I adapted to that cycle over time, coupled with the fact that I've never been a particularly strong or long sleeper. And as I hit my 50s, um, I began to notice I required more sleep, but I wasn't getting the sleep. In fact, thinking about getting more sleep stressed me out so much I was sleeping even less. And um, it occurred really, um, Last November over Thanksgiving, I got very, very ill. We were traveling in Kentucky and I began feeling ill on the way to Kentucky. And when we got there, I immediately put myself to bed at my guests, as a guest at my, our family's house and began sleeping. Um, I was sick for two weeks from that bout and then had a rebound in February again that resulted in being hospitalized with pneumonia. Oh, wow. This was all pre-COVID, although I, I was bumping up against COVID when I went into February, the hospital. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And so one of the things that I immediately did was I, I, I upped my game with C60. I started doing tablespoons of it, sometimes twice a day. I'm working on a healing arc right now that, that includes a lot of other modalities and things that I'm doing and taking. 
mainly to get my respiratory system healed back because that was significantly damaged yeah. in 2013 when I, when I was sick. I, 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 was, I, I had, a, um, I had a, an infection that had required surgery, staph infection. It required me to have op an operation to remove it. And then I had to have massive doses of injections of um, antibiotics, which stripped my system. I, I'm, allergic to an I'm allergic to antibiotics. I had an adverse reaction that wound up in me developing, um, um, well, basically my, my whole body blew up on me which resulted in my lungs and intestinal tract um, going into, I went into renal failure, I went into respiratory failure. So I'm battling long-term syndromes right now that includes my respiratory system. The long and short of it is, the more that I've upped my game with the C60, the better I've slept, the better I rest, the more alert I feel. And overall, it is contributing to accelerating this arc of healing back which has been like a seven year thing with some setbacks. So yeah, I mean, one of the most appre immediately appreciable benefits of this has been sleep, but it's also been the boost in energy. And I think it works well with some of the other things that I'm, I'm doing nutritionally and otherwise to amplify the healthy effects. Well, that, that parallels like our most consistent testimonial. People take the product in the morning, they report mental focus and energy during the day, and then better sleep that night, which is, which is in fact the opposite of every other quote unquote sleep aid on the market. And you can talk about prescription sleep aids, which I, yeah. I think are, are just dangerous uh, because they knock you out. Uh, they, <coughs> they wake up and you, you've had the relief of the chemical. There's a chemical in your body called adenosine. Uh, and you, the, the, those drugs that knock you out, when you wake up, the chemical pressure of adenosine, which causes you to desire sleep, has been removed. So you don't desire sleep when you wake up but you haven't had the restorative sleep that you need. And there's REM sleep, everybody's familiar with that. There's also, uh, sleep scientists are really creative. They've also created in REM sleep, so not rapid eye movement sleep, really creative bunch of people. <laughs> and, and you need those two types of sleep in order to get the, the, the restorative uh, um, benefits that sleep is supposed to provide, right? Sleep is just not like, let's go zone out for, for eight hours. And then, you know, we're actually doing serious healing, mental, physical, and emotional healing. One of the things a lot of people don't realize, and this has been exacerbated by COVID is that, um, when you don't get enough sleep, you actually aren't as good at managing your emotions, right? So back when you were in the coding days, by the way, I was a coder too, like, is there any other time to code? Except no, no, you do that in the middle of the night. That's what we do. And you do it drinking really bad things like sodas and coffee and the rock eating junk star. Food. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So, so uh, you know, you're back in your days, you're only getting four or five hours of sleep, which you don't realize. And, and you know, coders may not be known to being really good with emotions anyway, no. but you've only got four to five hours of sleep and you're waking up and it's interesting because like our cell phones have two systems. One bar system tells you how strong your signal is and the other bar system tells how much battery you have, but you don't have that for your amount of sleep relative your, to your ability to manage emotions, right? There's no thing going, hey, you only got half the sleep you needed. Yeah. You probably shouldn't get into emotionally driven conversations right now. Think about you know, you, you, you mentioned that, that masks is kind of what people have kind of settled in on. I think that the arguments that are happening over math, the, the Karens, whatever the meme is that are happening, yeah. wouldn't be happening if, pe at least not so strongly and not so emotionally driven, if people were actually getting the sleep they need to manage their emotions better, right? Like the reality is, is when you get less sleep, you're less able to handle your emotions. And I actually call this like a horrible emotional sleep spiral right? So yeah. you wake up, you're not able to handle your emotions. You pull a Karen, right? Maybe you're, you are Karen and you pull a Karen or you carry the opposite and you don't handle it well. And then you try to go to sleep that night. Do you think they slept well after these experiences that night? No, no they no, didn't. No, no, no. And so this spiral just continues to build on itself. 
And that's why, you know, one of the reasons I've got these extra bottles to my mom and have her taking extra serving sizes, because you, you've got to get your sleep in order to better manage these emotions. And, and I'm not saying that everyone on the planet should go get this and better manage their emotions, but I think it would help. Yeah, just go get these and the rest of it will take care of itself, right? Yes. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's interesting because I talk to a lot of people doing what we're calling lockdown, hashtag lockdown. And um, a lot of people were experiencing disrupted sleep cycles, largely because we have these cycles that we kind of get into, which is our working day. And our working day defines the rest of our structure. And I found this myself, that because I was not going, getting up and going to an office every day, the structure of my life began to decay. And a lot of people were reporting they were staying up late, they were sleeping late, but they felt tired, they were depressed. Um, a lot of us, especially here on the East, East Coast, were experiencing very long periods of cold, gray, damp mm. weather. Yeah. And again, kind of the whole thing with C60 was once I recognized where I was in that arc, I, I again upped the game again with the C60. We did a show during that period of time, and it was a big underscore that when you need to double down on this because you're at risk, I could feel it. My body was starting to take on stress from this, depression, emotional imbalance. These are all things that come as a result of disrupted cycles. What, I guess like a circadian rhythm. Yep. And um, so it's one component, but it's important because it boosts all the other things that you can do complementarily to restructure and rebuild your body's systems and get rebalanced. So, I mean, it's not... Sometimes it sounds like we're pushing a miracle product. We're not. This is a companion to all the other good things that you want to do. Yep. This will step up your game. What, and what something that's interesting is a lot of people report to us when they start taking the product. Sometimes the results for them are pretty, uh, pretty subtle. Uh, and a lot yeah. of people report, oh, I noticed that I'm doing more around the house. I noticed that I cleaned my closet, which hadn't been cleaned for three years. Or I noticed that I'm getting these letters done. That I, like it's, it's preparing you to, to, to be a better you. Uh, is kind of one of the undertones, right? So I don't know how that is as a supplement uh, uh, tagline, you know, it helps you to be a better you. And it is something that we get pretty hey, regularly. Hey, here you go. C60, a better version of you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and so it's, it's, it's pretty exciting um, that, that we've got this opportunity to share this with, with so many people. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for all that. that. That really helps, you know, kind of inject a little bit of, illumination into the into the topic for people out there that maybe are struggling or maybe people that really we can tip the scales and go here's another reason to try this and um, so let's bounce it over to patty and let's see what patty has to say hello patty greer welcome hey. back randy and i were saying we've been doing shows together for probably 10 years and he's been on the air 17. Um, I didn't know you guys are both coders. I was a documentary filmmaker. So for me to do 15 hour days and go on till three was normal also. That's normal, yeah. When you're in your art, you're in your passion, you don't want to stop. And had I had this product back then, um, I might not have slept at all. But um, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, so I've been, um, when I was making my films and I did eight, uh, I was awakened every night at 3 a.m. It was clockwork, and I couldn't get back to sleep. And so I've gone years. The last film I made was 2016. So it's only been four years, but um, I still get up at 3. It's like clockwork. But in the last two and a half weeks, I have slept like a log. And I don't remember this level of deep sleep um, for 10, 15 years. And when I get up in the morning, it's like, oh my God, it's light out. Uh, it's such a treat. And I haven't, I haven't been able to enjoy deep sleep in a long time. And it's so deep that um, 
<laughs> I mean, anything could happen outside, a helicopter, whatever, and I, I go right through it because um, when I wake up, I'm really feeling a whole new kind of sleep. And I've done a tablespoon for like two years every day, but I only upgraded to C60 Evo in the last year. I was doing other products that had a fraction of the concentration that C60 Evo does, and it all comes directly from the lab that's been making it for the last 29 years. So for me, I'm delighted to be taking this product, and I take a tablespoon every day before noon. Um, and we keep talking about the energy you get from it, so you don't want to take it at four in the afternoon, or you might not sleep as well. But the thing I'm noticing is that Chris and I are partners in the company, and um, we've been kind of challenging each other to swab a bunch of C60 on our faces. So I'm looking at him like, what are you, 40 now? He looks so young. But I'm also seeing my skin for the first time, like really looking different. And um, you know, if you spill it on the counter when you're doing your spoonful, put it on your face. Rub it on your hands. You got me doing that now. I did that the other morning. I'm like going like this. Just As you should. Rubbing it on my face. Yeah. I mean, I, I got to say, you know, um, I think it's, they called it the miracle molecule. And I'm not scientific. All I am is a testimonial person. But I know that I have raved about the quality of what we're selling here that is ESS60. And it's a breakthrough in the old technology of C60 because C60 in general can come from Wuhan, China. <laughs> it can come from Russia. It can come from Canada where it's done in a process that Chris believes is not exactly healthy for humans. So the processing that's done at his lab where our uh, C60 Evo is made start to finish has meticulous machines that don't heat, don't let air in, and um, everything's really professionally made, which I had never seen in all my previous experiences with the different companies selling C60. So the breakthrough was the processing being really um, meticulous so that um, you don't have to worry about concentration because every batch is tested at the lab with a proper machine, an HPLC testing machine, to be sure that batch, if the bottle says it's got 0.8 milligrams per milliliter, that's what you're gonna get. Unless you're getting 0.85, which can happen in some batches. But you're not gonna get 0.3 or 0.06. You're gonna get what the bottle says. And I think that's where this company is really standing out in the field now, where a lot of people have claimed, oh, I tried that stuff and it doesn't really work. And my first question is, what brand are you using? You know, feel free, and I just suggest that you also try C60 Evo, and you might actually have a big boom where you go, oh my God, uh, which is what happened to me. So um, we have a lot of testimonials that come in, and um, there's a lady in Florida that Randy will introduce in a minute. I believe she's a nurse, so she probably knows a lot about COVID, and we might want to ask her any nurse questions, um, but she sent a really interesting testimony about the mental aspects, which I know Chris can respond to, but Randy, you want to introduce um, our guest? Yeah, before we do that, though, I want to jump in because there's one more benefit. We don't talk about this a lot. And that is healthier eyes, vision. But let me point something out here. One of the early applications that I was doing with C60 was treating a very early onset of uh, cataracts in my eyes. And um, I won't tell you exactly what I did, but let's just say it was risky. But in the, in, in the months that I've been doing, how long have I been doing ESS60? Probably going on nine or 10 months. Um, just normal intake. I'm not wearing corrective lenses. I don't, I have glasses. I use them mostly for computer work because they tend to help me reduce the strain on my eyes from computer screens, which I'm surrounded by at work. But what I began to notice is my vision has really improved. Um, 
not to be overlooked. Your results may vary. My results are that at my age, I'm very happy to say I'm not wearing glasses, I'm not wearing bifocals, and I plan to stay that way. So let's get with our guest. I did not get a bio, so we're going to introduce her real simply. This is um, our, our new friend, a very lovely lady with very pretty teeth, who's going to give <laughs> us glasses. her testimony and awesome glasses. <laughs> but uh, welcome from Florida, our friend Regan. Welcome. Hi there. Hi there. I am a nurse. Hello. And uh, I'm someone who's in my mid-60s, and I'm kind of a health nut, and that's how I discovered C60 a few years ago. Um, I just came across it and thought, well, you know, that might put a spring in my step and I might feel a little better. And someone I really wasn't expecting, uh, you know, anything really outstanding. Cause number one, I'm lucky that I don't have a disease process. I don't have pains or anything like that, where I would notice, uh, something like that, uh, which would be quite, uh, evident. Uh, but I did notice very, a mental and emotional uplift, uh, this product. And I, I guess I've made up my own little uh, slogan for it. I call it mental clearing. Mm -hmm. which I think this is true with everyone that's especially lived a long life. Nice. Uh, that there's things that come up that have come up in your past. You know, yeah. you've been betrayed, ripped off, whatever, you know, all the things that happen to people. And when you have quiet time, these things come crawling into your mind. You know, you're just about to sleep, for instance, or uh, I take long walks and sometimes things that I don't really care to think about would come through my mind, you know, and I used to process them and my mind would try to figure certain things out if I didn't know the answer and so on. And this product has allowed me to just release some of these thoughts, mm. not even think about them. Just think, okay, well, there's a thought I don't want to think. And I just don't think about it anymore. I've never been really able to do that. And this product I noticed, uh, especially with the, uh, the Evo, the C60 Evo, because I've tried several different products before this one. And I definitely find that this is uh, superior. And um, so I, I think everyone can be helped in that way, even if you, um, especially if you're looking for it, because it's one of those things that, uh, you know, it's not like pain or something where you're going to notice right away if something is uh, improved or different. Um, and I just really think it's a spectacular thing for people who maybe have depression or have things they're, you know, thoughts and experiences they're trying to leave behind. I think this really gives a boost in that direction, emotionally and mentally. That is a really unique testimony, and it fits in a lot with what this show does. This show deals a lot, and has for years, with people who have undergone trauma and stress, specifically people who have come out of government-sponsored mind control programs, people who have experienced um, targeting, uh, electronic targeting, harassment, sexual abuse. Um, it's sort of born out of my own background as well and dealing with, you know, even stresses that I occurred as a child and abuse. And when you're talking, I have to tell you, I, I, you, 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 that really emotionally resonated with me because I had not stopped to consider what a lot of people don't realize is there's just kind of a refractory period with trauma. And so people will go through periods of their life where they are deeply locked down with trauma, but at some point, usually after age 40, trauma begins to begin, yeah, begins to release in certain ways if it's not dealt with. And even a lot of people who have gone through uh, therapy find that there are key periods and stages in life where they begin to release trauma. And this is a very, very stressful thing to go through. So when you were, when you were talking about this, I was just struck by the fact that I hadn't stopped to consider. I've gone through about two years here of releasing a fair amount of traumatic stress from childhood. And the C60, you know, it's interesting that in, in a way, there is almost a relaxation, a frame of mind that comes in, a well-being. I mean, our bodies are holistic. 
Our emotions are not detached from our physiological structure. We're chemical bodies, we're metal bodies, we're light bodies, we're all of those things. And it's a holistic system. So to me, it just makes sense when you were talking about that, that yeah, I mean, we're kind of taking on this, this new frame of mind that's around our, our well-being, our health, our vibrancy. That's awesome. Really, what could be better than, um, you know, straightening out your mind? And I, I feel like, too, sometimes uh, you've, I know in the past I've thought there's certain thoughts that it's hard to keep out of your mind. You know, they just come in yep. and, uh, and so on. And uh, I, it really has given me the control to say, I'm not going anywhere with this. If I think about it, I'm not going to solve anything. Uh, I'm not going to feel better after I've thought about it. So I'm just going to release it. And I've been able to keep things out of my mind. And I feel so much better, so much lighter, you know? And uh, have, you, have, you anyway. noticed, have you noticed anything in, in your sleep at all? And the answer may be no, that's, that's fine. But like maybe more sleep, deeper sleep, more dreams, anything along those lines? Yeah, I would say deeper sleep, you know, that can uh, help with the frame of mind and clarity and all that too. But this is something that, you know, it's hard to explain uh, kind of what I'm even talking about. Uh, uh, yes. I think you can get the concept of it though. And I just don't understand who, who possibly could not benefit by clearing some of these things out of their mind. Because everyone has been through things they'd prefer not to think about anymore. <laughs> I'm sure of that. Well, yeah, and, and it does go very much in line with what I was talking about, like, when, when it's subtle for some people, because it's not subtle for everyone, like, that's for sure. And when it's subtle, like, I think it, it, it'd be interesting to know, like, how long did it take you? Because, because to, first off, you're obviously a very consciously aware person, right? Like, you're having thoughts, and you're not able to let go of them, and kind of aware of that. I think there's lots of people on the planet probably myself included that like yeah. are having thoughts and I can't get rid of them and I don't even really notice that I'm trying to get rid of them or I should or whatever. So like that, that's great awareness. And then when that when that suddenly stops, it's such an internal process, it would have been very easy to not attribute it uh, to ESS sixty or the C sixty Evo formulation. And and so I would be interesting, was there a time period where you realize like you look back and realized, oh, that stopped happening a while ago, right about the time that I started taking the product. No, I started noticing it. Uh, By the way. Again, but it's even better with this, uh, this product here. But I, I did notice it. And um, uh, I do think, too, that, um, you know, is it maybe a little bit of a guy thing not to think about thoughts? Okay. <laughs> I don't know and, what you're talking about, man. <laughs> Just, you know, you're just always going forward and you're doers and all that. And oftentimes you don't. But no, we get it too. I mean, it's, I, I call them OCD thought loops. They're <laughs> yeah. those things that just come <laughs> looping yeah. around constantly yes. and they grab you and you're like. Yeah. Remember the time you let this happen? <laughs> yeah. You just can't let go of them. They, they just loop. They continue to cycle through. Yeah. And they usually don't have anything good uh, to do to help your self-esteem or anything like that. In other words, it's usually thoughts that are negative that, you know, they just bring you down all the way around. So uh, who needs it, you know? But when the body's stressed and when it's in a state of continuous stress, it does tend to do that to you. When you're ill, you focus on certain things. And I've seen this with myself because I've, I've experienced long, expansive periods of really health. I mean, most of my life, I've been relatively healthy. I've had some issues along the way. But I've noticed that when I'm sick, I become obsessive. And I notice that it's almost like your biology is talking to you in some way. Right. And you begin to focus on, and especially negatives. And this is where it's so important, you know, what you just talked about in terms of a sense of well-being. I don't know that you, I don't know that you can define that. It is, right. It's very individual, and yet at the same time, anybody that's experienced it knows there's just that place where you're releasing, where you have a sense of well-being, where you're not stressed, you're not looping, you're not going through constant cycles of depression and anxiety. And again, you know, what I've learned, because I've dealt with depression and anxiety my whole life, is that those, those two are just, they're part of that loop. 
If there's one, there's the other, and they feed back on each other, and they amplify. And the solution is to break the loop in the way you do that. Obviously, it's very different for each person, but for me, what I came to realize it was to adapt a sense of well-being, to be good in my body, and also to balance things around me in every way possible. And again, it just comes back to what is that magic formula that does that? I'm so happy it's working for you because all these years I've known you and also a couple other people, I've watched the calm. And I know that I probably have been tested in the last few years more than ever in my life. I call it mental discipline. When those um, true emotions come in about people doing heinous things in my life, I have to really ground and balance and I know that a lot of times I close my eyes and I just say mental discipline because I don't want to feel bad thoughts. I don't want to waste my energy. And I'm also in my 60s. So um, every, day, every day counts. And I am detoxing a monster right now. Um, and I learned yesterday that my test results are still extremely high in three things that should have never been put into my body, which are uranium, palladium, and arsenic. Um, I had a bad experience with someone a year and a half ago, and I guess they decided I needed some. So I have been detoxing heavily, and if you don't think that takes mental balance to stay kind and not turn postal, um, I'm amazed. I pat Patty on the shoulder, regularly and people have actually written me and said how do you stay so calm i don't drink um that helps but i i do believe that the c60 evo that we know crosses the blood brain barrier it also is smaller than most molecules so it can fit into places that vitamin c perhaps can't so now you're releasing and neutralizing free radicals and really doing a lot of work with this simple teaspoon for most people, tablespoon for us hardcores here. Um, and I do a tablespoon every morning. Um, plus I wash my face with it, not wash, but you know, treat myself. And I feel um, almost like COVID doesn't have a chance with me, but in the past I rarely got sick. Now, our I never get sick. So um, I do wear a mask to be polite to people, but I um, spent the first 10 weeks of lockdown where nobody could leave you know, the bathroom. Um, we all had to stay home. And if you went on a trip, it was to the living room and that was a big day. So for those 10 weeks, I watched so many educational videos because I don't believe this is really all about COVID. I think COVID is keeping us busy while the world is changing yeah. around us. It is. For, yes, it is. Yeah. So with all of us that are um, watching a lot of alternative news, there is so much to take in that you're going to need this balance. But when the news actually comes out to the public, the things that we, conspiracy theorists, you know, that's what they like to call it today. But I think in a month or so, people are going to be running to us and saying, okay, tell me again what you told me when I didn't believe you. <laughs> I think we're going to hear a lot of that. But the terms, when they used to say, those who know don't sleep, really came to mind. Because I think a lot of us that are really on top of what's going on politically, um, I'm not interested in fighting with anyone. I don't want to talk politics. I want to talk reality about what's going on in the world and what's happening to the young people that has been really awful that I think is really more the big picture of what's going on, but we're being distracted fighting over masks and standing on the little yeah. tent part thing. Yes. Oh my gosh. There was, I, I think something changed in Boulder, Colorado today because I saw more than two people. One was in a car, one was on a bike, and one was walking, they had the masks up almost into their eyes. Now the guy that was driving had the mask all the way into his eyes at the bottom and glasses on. I, I, it makes I me- can, I can explain that. If you wear a mask and you have, if you wear a mask and you have glasses, 
it actually, when you breathe, it fogs your glasses. So you need to put the mask higher and your glasses down a little bit so that the air can go and actually not fog your glasses. I have to do that. I don't want to ask if you were that guy in the car next to me. Because <laughs> was he going really fast? <laughs> no, no, he wasn't in a Tesla. Um, yeah, no. Um, but it, it's a very difficult time right now because we want to be mindful of others and their fear. Yeah. And we want to respect their needs. But anybody yells at me about my nose sticking out, I pretend I didn't hear them because I have nothing to talk about. I'm wearing the freaking thing, so you're not scared. I know I'm not going to get sick, and I might be a little C60 Evo arrogant, but um, I really feel strongly that there's nothing going to take me down physically if the uranium, palladium, and arsenic uh, didn't kill me. Um, I really have to say that I have said for the last six months, and yesterday when I finally got over the fact that my numbers are still really high, that... The doctors are like, how can you even be functioning and smiling? Um, and it's my little bottle. I mean, this stuff is a friggin' miracle. For Randy, you're back in some ways. For Chris, you just turned 40 instead of 50. <laughs> For there me, I'm still alive. Woo! I mean, that's my yeah. brag. I win. I want to back up on something you said, though. Yes. Because a lot of the effects that we're seeing right now, and I've talked about it a lot on this show, especially over the last six months. We are in a different space and time right now, people. The world changed. I mean, when they said the new normal, that was the programming. But the truth of the matter is the new normal began last year, and it actually goes back to 2012. And if you recall the memes that went around a lot, there was this thing, and I used to laugh about it, but I now think differently about it ascension sickness of people who were experiencing physiological changes in their bodies as a result of things that are going on out there. And I've documented these on the show, these cosmic energies that are coming in, the shifting of the ages, how consciousness is expanding. Your consciousness is not expanding in any other way, except that it's also pulling your body with it. That's part of the stress that people are feeling right now. The shifting of the ages, these changes that are rapidly coming at us, both from, let's just say, things that are programmed and things that are part of, we'll say, the cosmic program, are all adding and fueling this sense of displacement. And our bodies are experiencing massive amounts of stress right now. And I say that because... I'm starting to realize more and more, the better care I take of my body, mm -hmm. the more I use things like ESS-60, the more sense of balance I have in moving forward in a world that is never going to be what it was last year, sports fans. Yeah. Very I think true. Sports are going away. What's interesting is it's almost like the world went on a diet. And when we come out, we're going to be thinner. Because did. sports went away. Yeah. Sports went away. Excess shopping went away. Going to the store too often, buying too much stuff, throwing it away, went away. Hugging, romance, meeting a new guy, that also went away. <laughs> Not that you guys care, but you know, I mean, can you imagine dating now? How do you even date? In two plastic bags? Hey, what's up from your plastic bag? See me that's, move? That, that's a COVID condom. <laughs> well, idiots use it. Oh, well, God. there are those out there who have advocated the 14-day co-quarantine as a way to get acquainted. So um, certainly we know that that aspect of humanity doesn't go away. That is part of the code that we all share. And it's awesome. And C60 will help. Can I say it again? C60 Evo can even help the libidos. Um, we definitely have testimonials related to that. Yeah. I wanted to bring it back a little bit and talk kind of about Regan was talking about how having kind of clarity of mind and, and being able to let go of things that we're processing. And then you, Randy, kind of said it like it plays into like anti-depression or helping get yeah. rid of depression. 
And I want to tie that back all the way to the kind of the initial uh, cleaning closet example that I gave, right? Because I think we all understand that when you're depressed or in a depressive state, you're not taking care of the nest as well, right? So the closet goes uncleaned, maybe the bed goes unmade, you know, the garage is dirtier. And so I do really think that there's this intertwining of that subtle testimonial that we get. Maybe that's not from somebody who's not as enlightened as Regan, who's aware of like, oh, these thoughts are gone. They're just looking at the physical and saying, oh, I've done that and I haven't done that for a long time and it's needed to be done. And so I think there really is this parallel. And Patty mentioned like that ESS-60 can cross the blood-brain barrier. We know that we're, you know, we're kind of talking about, hey, what are the mechanisms that might have this impact? And, and the real answer, you know, as a scientist is we don't know exactly. Um, we do know it crosses the blood-brain barrier. We do know it participates in the mitochondrial function inside our cells. So that's the, that's the component of every cell that is the powerhouse that provides the energy uh, to, to, our, to our cells. Um, so it can participate in those. And those are actually where most of the free radicals come from, is that mitochondrial processing, of ATP processing. Um, so uh, if, what I really think though is, and, I, and there's still a f kind of a physiological explanation, whatever that is, it's driving the better sleep. And when we sleep better, we're able to process. I think it's maybe, and Regan, you might, maybe this resonates with you. It, maybe it's, I'm sleeping better, which means I'm actually doing the emotional processing that I'm supposed to be doing while I'm asleep. And then my, my brain no longer has to try and take care of that junk during the day for years, potentially. But maybe, I don't know if that resonates with you, Reagan. Well, it does. Um, uh, it does. But I guess I feel like I had a, have a greater awareness of these things that are coming into my mind. Mm -hmm. And I almost would call it like now that I've had this experience for a while, it's almost like I'm a batter at the plate and I see a curveball thought coming in, you know, and I'm just going to smack it into the stadium because I'm, I'm not going to think about it. Especially yeah. thinking about it, there's nothing to solve. It won't make me feel better. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it or it's way in the past. And I, I don't know why it gives me the ability to just decide I'm not thinking about that. And I see it coming in even. I even can feel it coming in and I, I just uh, don't want to have any part of it anymore. So I think part of it is an awareness. So I do think there's maybe a consciousness level that is raised by this product. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's what I was kind of driving at as well, Regan. It's hard to it's, describe, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is hard to describe. It's, it, a lot of what we, we talk about is intangibles until you experience it. And right. As a healthcare professional, I'm sure you are aware that there is a symbiosis between mental well-being and the body. That yes. the, the patients who heal best are patients who have a disposition that's that's positive, an outlook towards life. I mean, people who don't recover generally are people that let's just say have already signed off on on the program. And so that sense of well-being and relax and allow kind of enables an overall well-being as well. I think to support that is we're the only species that has a higher death rate on Mondays. <laughs> is that true? Yeah. Yeah, we have a higher death rate on Mondays because, you know, it's Monday. You know, deer don't go out in the forest and say, I'm going to make it through Saturday and Sunday because they're fun <laughs> and then pass on Wednesday, uh, on Monday. No, humans actually are we're the only ones. We're also, and when it comes to sleep, because sleep is so important, we're also the only species on the planet that will forego sleep with no real health reason. Yeah, I think uh, you're absolutely right about the sleep. It's uh, so important uh, for, for anyone's well-being. Well, we're all talking about sleep for me. I was uh, having a hard time walking a few years ago when I discovered T60. And somebody gave me a bottle and within 30 minutes, I was walking and saying, what? No way. <coughs> so there's something with the bones and joints that C60 lubricates or enriches because we can't say it's an anti-inflammatory, but it was for me. And I know that um, when um, a lot of people write that are extreme sports uh, uh, competitors, 
And they say that even their workouts, they don't have pain afterwards <coughs> when this product. So I do want to mention that a lot of people sell all these different flavors of oil that you can mix C60 into. Our ESS60, we do in coconut oil, MCT coconut, um, avocado, and olive. But when Chris tested them in the lab, no matter how much C60 you pour in that vat, and no matter if you do it the same amount of stirring for three weeks, no oxidation, everything perfect, you can only get less than half as much C60 concentration in coconut oil as you do in olive oil. So we really encourage people to buy the olive oil and to be taking that because it, it holds the most C60. Somebody uh, wrote this morning and asked if we did it in black seed oil. And I did enough research that it basically is dangerous for men to take black seed oil over 50 years old for pancreatic cancer, that they're finding um, bad results with black seed oil and men over 50. So if anybody's um, curious about that, that's why we're not doing that product. Younger people may be not a problem, but older men need to be aware of black seed oil. Interesting. Wow. One other thing I want to point out, and I just learned this today because I spent some time going through c60evo.com and discovered you guys put up a, a calculator so you can go on to c60.com and then forward slash it to dosage. And there's a handy little calculator there. You plug in your body weight and it will give you a recommended dosage. I suggest you take that dosage, maybe up at 50% just to get the higher end of the game. But uh, what, an awesome, what an awesome service that is to be able to um, get a sense of measuring dosage because I wasn't sure if I was doing uh, the proper amount. And so that's there as well. If you go through the website, there's all kinds of awesome materials here. Thank you. We just redid the website. So the website looks great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. you know, keep upping the game because uh, things just keep becoming more important for people's health. We are in the greatest test in human history right now with something that a lot of people are um, struggling with. But I do know a few different groups of people that have dealt with the coronavirus and all of them healed. So in my opinion, it's a bad flu, probably not a whole lot different, but the media got paid a lot to scare the crap out of us. And now we're doing the mask dance. And um, I don't mean to make jokes about it, but I'm really over it. Can we please stop this? Yeah. Um, well, the way we stop it, the way we stop it is we prevail. You know, what do, what do they say? The best revenge is live long and prosper. That's what we want to do. And this is one component to a very healthy and balanced lifestyle. You've heard all four of us here today talk about the benefits, and especially what our friend Regan has told us uh, in terms of her experience, that um, it really is a well-being kind of thing that we're doing here. So last round everybody gets a, a final go at this and then we'll do a wrap and we can all go off to our evenings or in my case nighttime <laughs> um, well I, I just want to add you know you you live live longer uh, and prosper you know we've been talking about kind of mental health uh, impact we've been talking about sleep impact let's not forget that original study remember that original study showed that when uh, the test group that was given C60 Evo formula lived 90% longer than the control group. That's peer-reviewed, published research. The next best way to live longer, I call it the starve yourself one-third to death diet. Literally, if you reduce your calories, the, the calories you're supposed to be at, right? By 30%, you can extend your life by only 30%. I don't know many people are signing up, and, and maybe it's bad marketing to call it the starve yourself one third to death, but I'm not sure how many people are signing up for that. Um, in addition to that, in that study, even though our rats lived 90% longer, uh, the control rats all died with tumors and and basically a wistar rat that's what's used in this original study they live about 32 months and they have a known amount of tumors and that amount of tumors increases every day that they live 
our rats lived 90% longer and none of them had any tumors. Uh, so it's a pretty profound result. I mean, it's, it's immensely profound just to say that they lived 90% longer, the single longest longevity experiment on mammals ever. Uh, again, peer reviewed published research. It's even more profound to say that even though they lived 90% longer, they didn't have any tumors. So um, it's, it's just an amazing product and, and uh, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're working on studies. I'm actually, I actually have a, this is an aura ring uh, and I have a, a, a trial going on where we're giving, you know, we've got sleep data because of the aura ring. This is one of the better sleep trackers on the market. And we're getting data with people before the product, people on the product, and then they stop the product for a while and then get back on the product. And so we're actually doing, we're sponsoring and driving human trials for our, for our product. Awesome. And just to point out again that Chris's company, SES, are the originators. They are the largest distributor of carbon 60 in North America. And the patents and processes all go back to the original uh, C60 discovery, which won a Nobel Prize. So if you want to go to source, this is really source right here. Patty, what you got? What I got is um, the fact that a lot of people are upset when they see the price because the value of raw good ESS60 and C60 is more valuable than gold per gram. So it's a very expensive raw product to work with. And um, so we offer people 20% off if they sign up for a monthly subscription. You save 20% off forever. And um, if you don't love it, you can cancel at any time. Just send us an email, we will confirm. But I doubt you'll skip it and uh, cancel if you can um, really enjoy the benefits of this product. We also do cases. If you've got a group of a few people, you can get 25% off your case. And since Randy's one of the people that we love working with, he's got a special code and you can get an additional 5% off and then he gets um, a nice gift from your sale. So it's how yeah. we work together, you know, to support people doing important work like Off Planet Radio and Randy. So we're grateful for you. And uh, Randy's code is RM, Randy Moggins, one S-P-E-C, like special, all caps. So RM1 SPEC. So whatever you end up buying, you can just get one bottle and try it out. We start four ounce, eight ounce, 1632. And uh, I just finished my 32 ounce bottle. That baby was big. <laughs> and, uh, I just love it. So I hope you guys get the opportunity to try it. Keep in mind, you know, you get a nice discount, at least on your first bottle and um, sign up for subscription and you'll have forever discounts. There you go. The final word tonight, aside from me signing off, goes to our lovely guest, Regan, who I want to thank you for coming on. Thank you for thank an you. amazing, amazing testimonial. Final words from you. I guess I'd just like to say as a nurse for uh, people to try to enjoy the health they do have. I think everyone... Yeah has little things that go wrong and so on. But uh, I deal with people that are, you know, in the later stages of life and um, they want to hang on to every day, even in pain and all kinds of uh, challenges. So I just want to remind everybody that uh, to enjoy your mental and physical health um, every day. Yeah. And extend that by getting with the program. The, oh, yeah. uh, the this, there's no, uh, yeah, there's no uh, replacement for products like this that, that uh, help you along. And can I just say, this was an amazing show. Not only do I get to talk with Chris, who I really love talking to, but I had two lovely ladies who are just glowing. And I got to <laughs> say that again, um, just glowing with health and vibrancy and radiating good vibes. And so... And that takes care of it for this time. The links to order, the discount codes, everything down in the little box down there. Don't forget to do that. This is Off Planet Radio. I'm Randy Robbins. The truth is out there. Now it's inside you. Take care. We love you. See you the next time. Thank you. This is Off Planet Radio.